In the world of sports, loud scandals are not uncommon, but this one made the whole world worry about the fate of our heroine today. In this video, I will tell you about the sports journey of the track and field athlete Kristina Tsimanouskia, and at the end, you will learn how she managed to escape from political persecution. Kristina Sujivna Tsimanouskia was born on December 19, 1996, in the city of Klimovici in the east of the Republic of Belarus. Kristina grew up as a playful girl and loved to run around the yard playing tag with her friends. Her parents could not imagine that this childhood pastime of their daughter would turn into a passion for her entire life. Natural talent cannot be hidden in the yard, and soon Christina enrolled in the specialized children's and youth school of Olympic Reserve Dinamo. Her first coaches immediately noticed the girl's innate abilities, and all they had to do was to guide her in the right direction to ensure her path on the career ladder. Christina made her first mark in 2014 when she twice won silver at the Belarusian Championships in the 100-200 meters distances. It is important to note that the short distances became her forte. The following year, Tsimanouskia joined the national team and won silver at the European Under-23 Championships in Bidgosh, gold at the Universiade in Naples, and two silver medals at the European Games in Minsk. And it was with this team that she headed to the Olympic Games in Tokyo. The beginning was promising, and although Tsimanouskia failed to advance beyond the first round in the 100 meters, she still had a chance to compete in the 200 meters. However, on August 1st, a day before the competition, the National Olympic Committee of Belarus disqualified her from all competitions, citing her emotional and psychological state. However, on the same day, one of the committee leaders and the head coach of the Belarusian team tried to force Kristina to board a plane back home, and videos surfaced of these individuals pressuring the athlete to tears. They demanded her silence, the return of her per diem, and even threatened suicide, saying, you're getting caught up in the devil's circle again, and that's how people end up committing suicide. The world watched with bated breath as events unfolded. Simonuskia did not succumb to the persuasion and sought help from the Japanese police, as well as requested support from the International Olympic Committee. Christina said she was afraid to return to her homeland, fearing that she would be imprisoned. And there was reason to be concerned. The athlete was already under the close watch of the Belarusian authorities after condemning violence during the crackdown on protests related to the falsification of the Belarusian presidential elections and calling the actions of law enforcement agencies illegal and unacceptable. But what led to such a turn of events? It all started when, on July 30th, Kristina posted a video on her social media criticizing the leadership of the National Olympic Committee. The reason was that due to the negligence of employees, two Belarusian athletes failed to submit the required number of doping tests on time, resulting in their disqualification from the 4x400 meter relay. In an attempt to rectify their mistake, committee officials included Simonuskia in the list of relay participants, despite the fact that Kristina herself had never trained for the 400 meter race, and they didn't even bother to ask her. On the same day, the athlete deleted her video under pressure, but the machinery of repression was already in motion. Kristina Tsimanouskia's bold stance against the Belarusian government made her a symbol of disobedience and a beacon of hope for those who resist oppression. Many countries responded to the situation and offered asylum to the athlete. Currently, Kristina lives in Poland, where she has obtained citizenship and continues her athletic career, representing that country on the international athletic stage. Her story serves as a reminder of each person's ability to stand up against injustice, even in the face of an entire state. In conclusion, I want to say that Kristina Tsimanouskia's journey from a girl from a small town to an international level athlete and a symbol of defiance against a repressive regime is a wonderful story of courage and determination. Her struggle underscores the importance of standing up for one's beliefs, and her story will undoubtedly continue to inspire others for many years. Don't forget to leave comments, like, and subscribe to the channel where sports are discussed.